The school is uh, a, a good, well, a very good school now in Kent, and um, the, the history of the school uh, was really important to me. I've come from a background myself of a school with a history, and also the schools I've worked in had a tradition, and um, the students have that allegiance to the school, and there is such a good community feel to the school. Everyone feels part of MGS and they know why they're here, they want to be a part of it and they also want to be a part of it when they leave and they go beyond the school gates and it's that aspect I saw a lot on my interview, um, how the staff and the students felt this allegiance to the school and they did feel like part of a community of people. Would you say that the community kind of spirit of the school is a core value? That uh, yes, it is. Um, back in October, I um, did a, an exercise with staff and students asking them what does it mean to be a part of the Mason Grammar School, and essentially what are our core values. And a number of words were said, tradition, uh, achievement, success, community, fraternity, um, having a common purpose. And um, from that, I've been able to establish kind of four big core values that I believe the school should now work on. So uh, we're a community, we're a place of learning for all, like for staff and students. We're a place to feel safe and supported and also we're a community within a community. And those four areas I have now um, put together a, a vision, a direction for the school to follow uh, over the next 10 or 15 years. And um, it all stems from the work we did back in October, establishing why we're all here and what we want to see develop in the future. Okay. So what are the ways which you think you like build up your rapport with the students, you like build up a relationship with them? Because, you know, we see you walking around the school, what sort of things do you want to try? Um, well, hopefully I have built up a rapport with students and, and you're the best people to answer that. Um, I've always believed that whatever role I play in school, I will have a relationship with the student body and I'm, I do not want to be, and I hope I'm not, a distant figure who has to run the school operationally, which I have to do obviously, and I'm seen as this person who sits in an office and, and you, know, you don't see me. I do want to build up a rapport with the students. It's really important that young people have um, positive role models, whoever they are, in their life. And I believe I play a big part in that. So what do you feel you've accomplished in your first year as Headmaster of MGS? Um, I've accomplished a lot. Uh, it's, it's an incredible job. It's an honour to be the head here. I have, um, as I said earlier, made myself very visible around the school. I've got to know a lot of students. I've started rowing. I have observed every single teacher teach, which I was a, which a great opportunity. Um, yes, as a head I need to. Uh, quality is sure what's going on in the classroom because I do believe the most important thing of a school is the experience the students get in the classroom. And I learnt a lot about teaching when observing um, the staff. All teachers, as I say, have been observed. And uh, the results, I'm not going to obviously talk about individual teachers, uh, but the results were very, very um, pleasing and encouraging. There's very good behaviour for learning. People know how to behave in the classroom and know about how to learn. Um, there's very good assessment for learning. The school has worked on that a lot over the last two or three years and people really do know how to get yourselves to identify what you need to do, where you're going and how you're going to get there. So we've spoken a lot about the school, but where would you like to find the school by the time that you leave the school? <laughs> um, I've always believed my job is a steward uh, or a relay runner. I've been past the school for a period of time and I need to make sure I hand the school in a better state than what I have taken it over from. Uh, the school, as I said earlier, is already a very, very good school. Um, I would obviously want uh, standards to improve in terms of academic performance, uh, but also I want to grow a culture of um, growing tomorrow's leaders. And I said earlier about um, it's my, I think it's my role as well as supporting the students, supporting the staff. And, People say the success of a head is when one of their deputies or one of their assistant heads has become a head. It's not just about that, it's young staff progressing up to the next level and then to the next level and, and, and maybe um, moving on and looking for um, promotion elsewhere. Um, but my biggest legacy to the school hopefully will be uh, a development alumni office where the culture of um, giving to the school is strengthened. 
your contribute, your parents contribute to the voluntary fund, the Emetis fund, old Maidstonians contribute to the society. But I really want to um, uh, introduce this development alumni fund to bring in additional um, income into the school. The state provides the bread and butter, but I would like to provide some jam in that sandwich, and and I'm going to need some help. Excuse the phrase, but and I, I we need some help from parents, friends of the school, old Maidstonians to contribute to those projects I talked about earlier.